Morning guys, quick video for you today. Um, I hope you're all pumped up, ready to go for the six week challenge. So this is for you guys in the challenge group. Um, I'll probably stick it on YouTube anyway, just in case you know it might benefit somebody else. Uh, but anyway, just a little quick chat for you and um, you know what we're gonna be doing over the next six weeks. So first of all, um, you should have had all the documents and so on. You should have read through those, um, and be you know pretty familiar with what we're going to do. However, um, what I want you to do is ignore the calorie goal, just work to the macronutrient goal. So if you hit that macro, those macro goals every single day to the gram, it should work out, you know, pretty close to the calories. But like I say, just hit the macros, um, ignore the calories. If, for example, you mess up one day, you know, it's only six weeks, so hopefully you don't really have any mess ups, or at least not too many. But um, if you do mess up, say you have a, a huge, if you go out for lunch, you don't realise how much fat's in something because you haven't put it in before you've eaten it. You stick it in after and the, the fat just puts you over your fat level, for example. Um, what what I want you to do then is just go, right, I've messed up, I've gone over my fats for the day. Don't worry about it, just work to your calories then for that day. Um, it's not the end of the world as a one-off, as long as you hit your calories instead of your macros for that day. Um, and then move on and start afresh the next day and hit your macros again. Okay, and um, to start with, I've had a few questions, a few people saying, oh, I'm, I'm going to have to eat the same food each day, maybe you will to start with, maybe it's a good idea to plan in advance. Um, with flexible dieting, some people do still, you know, they call it flexible dieting, but they are basically working to a meal plan that they've set themselves, and they eat pretty much the same every day, and they'll just pop that into the fitness pile, and each day they'll just transfer the data over so that you know that that's in there for them uh, personally i like to figure out sort of three four meals a day where i know they're the same and it's going to put me close to my macros and then i can if i if i'm out for example i'll prep some potatoes and chicken um, some sweet potatoes and chicken, I'll have my breakfast will be steak and eggs um, and that will all be prepped and it'll, I'll just transfer it over to the next day um, so I know I'm going to be close and then if I'm out and I see something that I want I see I, for a change I might be like oh I fancy that, really really want that Snickers with my coffee or whatever I tend to have um, a protein bar but if it's like a Snickers I can have that, stick it in, I might be in Costa, I might want a flapjack, whatever, a bit of a cake, stick that in there and, and change my macros around for that day. That's the whole point of flexible dieting, you can do that if you want. If you are going out for a dinner one evening, you can plan that in advance, you know you know that it's there and you can have it, and that, that's the whole point. Um, but you will probably, you know, you might... That, that's how I do it, so some people will stick to the same food every day, some people will be completely flexible and just go with it, um, but that's pretty hard to hit your macros unless you're really, really good at it. Um, so at first you might find yourself eating the same foods, after a while you might switch some up, but I do advise you to plan some, some in advance at least. I tend to plan... Like I say, I will be flexible where I'll plan three or four meals and then I'll have a couple of meals where they're different each day. Um, I'll also eat clean for 80-90% of the day. Clean being sort of, um, you know, not processed foods and healthy foods and things like that. Some of the lists which are on the um, example meal plan, stuff like that. Um, and then I'll have like 10-20% of what I would say unclean food in general. You know, that that might be, some people might class that as, as the protein bar. Other people might 
might class that as like a Snickers bar, they, or you know, for example, I might have you know eighty percent of my food clean, and then I might get a pasta from Sainsbury's or wherever, you know, a, a pre-made one. It's probably got bits of crap in there, but it's in my macros, um, and and it's only twenty percent of my diet for that day. So you know, it's all good. Uh, so that's another way of doing it. Uh, what else have I been asked? Oh yeah, um, another useful thing. You'll probably find yourself, and I do every day, um, and it's just part of it. You'll get to the last meal of the day, and depending on how well you've planned, you might get there and be like, oh crap, I've got loads of food to eat, I need to shovel, you know, or, or shovel loads of everything in. Or you might be like, oh crap, I'm going to have to be a bit hungry tonight and and not really eat much late on. Uh, generally though, you'll probably find yourself, you're close to some macros and you're miles off others. And that's where it's handy to have certain food groups in the house at all times. And and, and I'll probably get to, the, to my last meal, you know, half 10 at night, 11 o'clock, depending on what I've been doing. And... Um, I'll have to just top it up. I'll have some oats in. You know, that's that's your carbs primarily there. Um, and I'll just have to alter that every day. I'll, like, stick a bit of extra oats in. If my carbs are really low and I, I just need to top up pure carbs or something, I might stick a bit of jam or honey in there or something on top of my oats if, if, um, if I need to. Uh, I'll add some fruit maybe in there as well. Um, fats wise, I'm, if I'm struggling to hit my fats, I'll tend to put peanut butter in if I've got you know the the carbs and protein as well, the extra few grams of that to go in. If I need pure fats, I'll stick egg whites in my uh, sorry egg yolks in my porridge, or I'll you know I'll have um, a couple of eggs, whole eggs if um. If I need protein, if I need protein, I will generally have a casing in the evening, casing protein powder or, you know, whey protein powder is fine. Um, or I'll eat egg whites and at the moment I am tending to try and eat whole foods and not really eat, you know, consuming many supplements. So I will just stick some more egg whites in. Or yoghurt, I like um, 0% yoghurt. That's another way to get some, some nice protein in there at, at the end of the day. Okay, so, yeah, you know, make sure you've got plenty of pure sources in there to top up at the end of an evening. Like I say, you need to hit your macros bang on, so you will need to, you will find yourself in the last meal of the day where you're having to just figure things out a little bit. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Yeah, so I've been asked about the first week and people saying that they're, um, you know, they might struggle to eat that much. You might struggle to eat that much if you're not used to it. Um, probably everyone does. Uh, I certainly have done when I've started new um, regimes and new diets and things and I've questioned things and thought, is this right? Have I figured this out right? There's a hell of a lot of food here, especially carbs. Um, but... You know, it's important for this first week, just make sure you get it in. It's a it's a, a nice opener to the um to the six week challenge. Um make sure you get everything in. Um don't worry about it if you put a, a small amount of weight on this week. Um just enjoy the food and get used to tracking. It's part of the process and uh, yeah, you need to enjoy it because there's gonna be some cuts later on and uh you're going to be wishing you could eat this much again. So I think that's pretty much it. There's a few more videos on my YouTube that might, you might find useful that I've done for you all these last few days. If you've got any more questions, just stick them on and I will do my best again. All right, cheers, guys. Good luck and I'll speak to you all soon.